Um, but for these questions that we've got here, I told you that this one only had one solution, but if you didn't know it had one solution, you have to draw a sketch to be able to figure that out, OK? So I actually decided to show you what it would look like on Desmos, because if you do have a graphics calculator, you can use this. Um, if you have a graphics calculator, to find the function, it goes option, numeric, and then absolute. It says ABS, which is another way of saying modulus function. Anyway, so this is what the sketch actually looks like. Um, if you wanted to check which one it would be crossing, you had to find out where the 2x plus 5 was crossing. And it was crossing at minus, uh, minus 5 over 2, was it? Yeah, minus 5 over 2. And the other one was crossing at a half. Uh, sorry, it was crossing at minus 1. So you can see it's only going to be crossing this single branch because of the fact that it's a steeper gradient. If it was a shallow gradient, it obviously could have been crossing at two points. OK? So if we go back to this question, the ones that we wanted to make them equal were just the negated part of this. So minus x minus 1 equals 2x plus 5, because it wasn't with the positive part. And when you solve this, you get 4 equals 3x. So x equals 4 over 3. That's not right. What have I done wrong with that equation? 3x equals, oh, so I, I, I think I've seen someone just doing this. And I looked at their work, and I was like, yep, yeah, that's great. Who's, someone had got 4 over 3. I'm not going to name names, because I've also made the mistake there. Shame on me. So minus 6 equals 3x, so x is minus 2, right? Yeah. <laughs> OK, good. And let's just check that on here. Yep, so we can see where they cross is at minus 2, 1. OK, so for this second one with the sketching, We've got our first graph, which is 4x minus 1. So we know it's going to be crossing down here, and it's going to be pretty steep. It's going to look like this. And then we've got another graph, which is y equals 2x, which is going to be less steep and going through the origin. So we can see it's going to cross in two different places. So I need to find out the values of it here and here. So I'm going to solve 4x minus 1 equals 2x, the non-negated version, which gives me 2x equals 1, or x equals a half. So that must mean the non-negated version here is a half. I'm then going to do the negated version, so minus 4x plus 1 equals 2x. So 1 equals 6x, and x is equal to a sixth. And then all we need to do is interpret what this one is. So which one's going to be above? Yeah, we want this one to be above, and we want this one to be below. So the 2x, which is this graph here, is above when it's in between these two values. So if I was going to put that in a set notation, curly bracket x such that x is between 1 sixth and 1 half. OK? Um, the sketches are tricky, because you need to think about steepness of lines and where they intersect. Um, but that's enough for us to have a go at some of the questions from exercise 2a. And I think, yeah, we'll, we'll do some of the questions starting from, I think, question 5, OK?